harmonious life on the new earth. Whatever idea you might have of the new earth, the reality will far surpass your imagination, because a blessed time will dawn for my own, for the people who will endure to the end and be taken to the new earth. People will live together in absolute harmony and peace, surrounded by incomparable works of creation. Even the animal world will coexist peacefully, there will be no hostility between the creatures, for their soul substances are also nearing embodiment as a human being, and all spiritual substance is bound in the creations sense the harmony surrounding them and noticeably change their resistance, which becomes apparent by their willingness to be of service, because this spiritual substance, too, wants to arrive at their final path on this earth quickly. People will be able to enjoy many magnificent things, given that they are fully matured for a life of beatitude, and they would enjoy this beatitude in the kingdom of the beyond were it not for the fact that they shall continue their life on the new earth because the new human race shall arise from them. And once again souls will be able to incarnate who had achieved a higher degree of maturity due to the great changes, due to the exceedingly sorrowful last days and the immense destruction, who are now far more willing to fulfill the final functions of service in the material form as a result of people's loving way of life on the new earth. Consequently, they are not entirely without love at the beginning of their human incarnation and thus progress faster, especially since they are not troubled by the adversary, since their love also assures them the light being's protection and help so that they will be able to easily repel the instincts and longings which still adhere to them. For their will is directed towards me, and thus they also fully consciously pass their test of will in their earthly life as a human being, because my adversary is unable to bother them and people's love establishes the bond with me. This privilege of an easier earthly progress for their descendants was acquired by my own through their successful battle before the end, which truly necessitated a strong will and immense love for me and which I therefore will also reward in every sense. In addition, I know when the spiritual substances in the form change their will, and accordingly I am able to place them into external forms on the new earth again which will guarantee the spiritual substance's willingness to serve. The situation on the new earth will be such that people will no longer be burdened by suffering and problems, that they no longer will experience earthly or spiritual hardship, that they will be able to enjoy the magnificent creations in perfect happiness, that one person will so love the other that he will want to discard everything that could burden the other. And this love allows me myself to dwell among my own, to teach them and to bring joy to them with my presence. A truly divine peace will spread across all created beings and remain for a long time, because every activity is determined by love and thus even succeeding generations will allow me to dwell amongst them, and the adversary will be totally excluded. For he cannot be where I am present, and all people have been redeemed in truth, for they live in the sign of the cross, they are brightly enlightened about Jesus Christ's act of salvation and love me in him with a passionate heart. It is truly a state of paradise which certainly will last a long time, but it will not last indefinitely, for ever more spiritual substance is traveling through the creations, whose resistance has not yet been entirely broken, will attain their final embodiment, and then the longing for matter will come to the fore again and in a manner of speaking loosen my adversary's chains for people will desire what still belongs to him and demonstrate their adherence to him and thus will also be controlled by him again, and then the adversary will have the right to influence the human beings will once more, 
and he will use it by tempting people into wrongful deeds which offend against the commandments of love and thus also distance me from the face of the individual who has submitted himself to my adversary. And so the battle between light and darkness will start again, earth will once again serve as a place to mature, for an infinite number of constrained spiritual substances will take the path of higher development and they all are given an appointed length of time. And time and again also entirely redeemed souls will depart into the spiritual kingdom, for Jesus Christ's act of salvation will never remain ineffective, and die for my part, will always make sure that the knowledge of it will be conveyed to people, for Jesus Christ will always oppose the Prince of Darkness, who will sooner or later be victorious depending on people's will, which is and will remain free and which will also achieve the last perfection in earthly life. Because one day it will submit itself to me and completely subordinate itself to my will. Amen.